made it to White Birch Association. Sue's daughter owns property in here. We're allowed to stay at this campground. Let me give you a little tour around. Pretty, it's back in the woods. This is the dump station full of water. This is the view out our living room window. Kind of foggy back in there from all the rain. Only has 30 amp because there's some stuff for the pump on the other side that must be using the 50 amp. And these other five spots here all have 50 amp. So we're gonna try and move tomorrow. Also, this is another reason I want to move is if you look up here, the starling is looking straight up into the trees. Here, number one, uh, well, at least we'll have a little more clearing. And there's the bathrooms. There's only one other RVer back here. And then over on this hill, they've got a, a basketball hoop and a, and over here, a volleyball court. But they have some nice things for the people who want to camp here. It's only 25 bucks a night and we have full hookup. We can head over to the office this morning to see if we can move to a different site and check in. What? I said we're on a mission. We're heading to Claire to get some steaks. Uh, uh, leaking up around here. Um, I took this cap off. It did feel a little moist underneath there. So I tightened that. And then here I sealed around the bottom and then I sealed then I sealed around the wire there around the top. So but that has quite a jump up. I'll show you the other picture with it all. And I can't even Imagine the water got up that high. So I still don't know why the water's leaking through there. As I was leaving the RV, I just looked under to see how my soft starts are doing. And I noticed that it had come loose. And I don't want that. I want it secure up against that wall otherwise it could trip back and hit those blades so I brought some gorilla tape up so I put that uh, gorilla double stick tape back in there and it stuck on there pretty good only thing is I reached around the corner and I bent some of those fins the fins are extremely like aluminum foil, so you gotta be really careful and not touch them. So when I hooked that soft start up, I had to run the wires through there and across, and then it opened that control box over there and wire them to the right places. They've since then come out with a soft start that plugs into your electric pedestal, so you don't have to do all this wiring, which sounds like a great idea. It's Friday evening. Gonna take a bike right around this area. 
uh, there's a lot of people with trailers up in these woods. So I'm expecting there to be a lot of four-wheelers because everybody's showing up for the weekend. I was out riding my bike when I, when I got the text. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why do you like it up here? Oh, I'm having a blast. Like yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call this thing? Ranger. A ranger. We're going through the woods. Yeah. A windshield. And we came up to this big mud hole and I have a video of him going ah! like screaming like a girl. <laughs> he went around it. He went slow. I don't know what it was. But were you saying easy, easy? Scott was I like thinking he was going to go right through there. it and that mud would have went right up. Oh, it would have been a mess. Oh my gosh, it was so funny. Association. What a name, White Birch Association. Reminds me of the White Birchers back in 1960. Heading out of here, we had a good time with Kristen and her family, and Luke and Lisa came up to see us. Now we're heading downstate, going to Portage Lake. It's a state campground over by Jackson, Michigan. After the White Birch. When we got here, the gates were closed. I put in the code, but then the code, uh, when I got back in the RV, the gate shut. So it was a little bit funny. So some guy came up and helped us. He pushed the code so we can get in. But you notice when we were leaving, the gates are wide open. I guess they're broken. All right, we're heading south, along with half of Michigan. Everybody's heading back from the weekend. It's a Sunday morning or afternoon. Look at this traffic. Traffic. 
destroyed that. Into. All right, we're doing good. We're kind of getting behind schedule though. So about 45 minutes to the campsite. It's raining. No fun with that. And traffic has been horrendous. We stopped and got gas at a mobile station, $3.99. Always fun to get this RV into a gas station. Squeezed in and waited and waited, squeezed in, finally got out. Uh, spent $217 to fill up 60 gallons. So that was fun. So now we're just heading on down the road. Kitties are going fine. We made it. It's starting to sprinkle. Not quite. Now. You're good. You're dead center. Straight back. You're good. And stop. 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 No, you got about 12 feet. No, my back tire is right to the grass. Okay, back up. Stop. Oh. Just got back from supper with Luke and Lisa. And uh, we're all settled in here at our campsite. It's hot and humid today. And uh, we're pretty around here. We'll take you a little quick tour of the campground. From these campsites, you can see the lake. Not from ours. It's are paved and have 50 amp up at this end, but then when you get down at this other end, which is where we used to camp on the weekend, it is freaking insane. This place jams with people, and I mean groups of people. It was a huge party. Everybody here has to have a fire. I don't know what it is about camping and fires. This is the bathrooms and showers on this side. Everybody has to have a fire. I could see if you were with a group of people, and you want to sit around and talk with each other at night. They have cabins back in here. There's a car back there. Yeah, it won't go back there. I thought if I had my van, Site 114 would be my favorite. Because look at that back in there. You're all by yourself, tucked back in the woods there. And uh, there's even a little clearing back there to put a tent. Of course, it looks like if it rains, all the water goes your way. Turtle crossing big oak trees. Looks like poison ivy growing on it. It's a cool tree. I love all that bark. Got water spigots in these campgrounds, a couple of them, but you can't hook a hose on them, so you cannot fill your RV here. You have to fill your RV. Here's another one of the bathhouses. There's two of them. Here's the backside of our campsite on the weekend. This trail is packed solid with people because people come from all over the area to come to this beach. This is the bathhouse for the beach. And there's some people down there swimming. They have a very windy path. Pretty sky tonight. Going to Hell, Michigan. Why are we going to Hell, Michigan, Luke? I don't know. Is it fun? Yeah. <laughs> so we can say we went to Hell. Okay, that's why we're going. 
I forgot to introduce our guest. <laughs> this is Luke, my son, and Lisa, my daughter in law. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. Oh. years never been to hell. Okay, the other day I took you around this campground. It was middle of the week. I'm not going to give you a complete tour, but I just want to get you an idea of how crowded this place is. This is Friday evening. Mm -hmm. 